Get set. Eric, begin. Dan, begin. David, begin. Now, this is exciting. Especially when he says begin and they all begin. just stand. I know, they stand. Uh, so, you thought Sam Azursky was a nice young man, recent college graduate. Turns out he's a cruel, evil sadist. That is true. I urge you, you're going to have five or six minutes now to look at the A clues and see just how evilly some, difficult right, they are. Right, some comparisons. Yeah. Um, uh, there's all the down clues at the beginning are as vague as they could be. For, for wished, he has bid. Bid could be a noun, it could be a verb, it could be past or present tense. Mm -hmm. um, really let have it, three down. For that common word we all use, Lara. <laughs> yeah. As in, I'm going to Lara Dan Fair in the finals this year. <laughs> no, Back says in the that. 1900s, they would have laughed and laughed. <laughs> Dan, does he really need another matzo ball soup bowl? <laughs> um, of course, I start out by making a, um, a comment about how hard the upper left is, and yes. Eric just says, no, it's not. I know. <laughs> I think there was some, uh, a little bit of issue at the beginning, finding him a set of headphones that fit, fit over I the coolest fit. hair in all of crosswords. <laughs> Certainly the most hair on the stage at this moment. I know. <laughs> um, I will. I will it's say. It's how Dan used to look. <laughs> he can handle it. Eric is also rocking a Washington Mystics WNBA shirt. Because he knows we're on real sports. He's like, dude, I gotta have the WNBA shirt. <laughs> um, uh, I want to point out uh, to the David uh, going for the To Kill a Mockingbird reference right away. The neighbor of the Finch family is clearly Boo Radley. <laughs> Fits perfectly. It does fit. Shares no letters in common with yeah. Mrs. Dubose. He'll fix that. But I understand a little bit more about him right now. Terror root. We've got that in common. He yeah. enjoys it and knows it. Etsy. That's where he gets his terror root. Uh, <laughs> He's actually started answering 55 across in the way we've all thought about it with the word hate. Well, uh, and it's interesting because the clue in the A clues for Tweetstorm is railing posts, question mark. Right. Which could be God knows what. It could be a horse wreck. I don't know yeah, what this is. That's why this one's So hate. he's at least cotton on to that it's not like a railing of the stairs or, or anything. It has to do with hate of some kind. That's right. He's got 42 down. Yes. Yes. 42 down, which is appropriate, he's wrote, written coos, which seems fun. Yeah, Eric is, Eric yeah, is no. just, oh, wow. Well, you know, our answer is in the hair. As a rookie. <laughs> uh, you might not be wrong, because in 2012, Eric was third in the B final here. He's finished in the top 15, or, or actually top 7 in 2014, then he took a couple years off to grow the hair back. <laughs> and here he is. I mean, there's so many things about this that is impressive to me, and speed is certainly one of it, just the fact that your brain can take in these clues so quickly and find the answers. You know, just to point out, uh, Marie, in our last round, completed her puzzle in 5 minutes and 51 yeah. seconds. I just think that is really I couldn't even read the clues in 5 yeah, minutes. Yeah, no, Eric, I mean, none of these, these clues are vague and baffling and misleading, unless you're Eric Agard, in which case they make perfect sense to you. And you're just rolling through them. Another one that is, you know, in comparison to the other sets, uh, 27 down, actor Bruce. Right, well, this, the A clues are for the older people, because in the other one it's actor Laura, actress Laura, right? Right. So it's, Right, in this one, one across is now the walk and bath is in your home. <laughs> Eric appears to be close to finishing. <laughs> That's incredible! Next year, the final puzzle is going to be in uh, Aramaic. <laughs> Just as close People to 
although 29 across in this one uh, is kind of funny. Eliciting a woe. Oh, yeah. been up here more, he's going to have the advantages because he's going to feel cooler and calmer. Clearly that wasn't the case. Yeah, there's always, always something new to deal with. And so let's take a quick, it's looking good. Yep. David has erased Boo Radley. That's good. Uh, and again, David working from the lower half up is going to be harder. Dan's looking at... Um, 20 across, Little League Division is the A clue for an answer that is age group. And if you work the direction, Dan, is you have age and then five letters, and you don't have any idea what the rest of it, what the rest of it is. Unless you're Eric Agard, in which case you fill it right in and you move on. <laughs> age group, age group, that's all anyone ever says to me, age group, right? <laughs> And Dan also uh, getting tripped up by Sam Azerski here with 21 down, which in the A clues is one tackling a set of clues informally. So he's written in an S because he's thinking, oh, is it a solver? Is it some sort of puzzle thing? Why anyone would think of puzzles today, I don't know. Why? Clearly, that's what that, and the answer, of course, is gumshoe, meaning someone tackling those other kinds of clues. Also, 30, uh, 30 down in this one I think is particularly mean. Of course, the answer uh, we're looking for is for us, but here the clue is some wedding rings. Come on, Sam. <laughs> That's it, yeah, yeah, yeah. You notice it crosses rude, which is clued as uh, where one might find Jesus, so it's a fair, it's kind of ecumenical word. Oh, right, it's, 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 all all com it's all coming together. Although I thought, I thought the answer was hood, as if you have a big painting of Jesus on the hood of your car. As you do, sure. Especially around Easter. <laughs> <laughs> right, when the hood goes up, yep. it's like Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, Starboards as a plural, I find interesting as yes. well. As a plural. As in, I always get on the starboards of the boats. I <laughs> right off the, off the many boats. Yeah. Uh, I did not grow up sailing like you, Greg. Yep, well, uh, I am familiar with the term because I lived in an apartment so small in New York that I couldn't even look at normal decorating magazines for inspiration. I had to look at sailing magazines. <laughs> Dan is, Dan is finally almost done. Oh, wow. He's got the horror. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, talking about starboards, um, it's clued as fishing rights question. Mark. Fishing rights. Yeah. That's also. Also. Yeah. As cruel as. As wedding rings. So, David, yeah, he's, he, uh, he sped up for a minute there with Patootie. <laughs> As you do. As you do. <laughs> he's just uh, getting into that corner there, making sure it's working. And look, right. David, David was third in the um, in the finals two years ago, mm -hmm. so he's going to, you know, be very happy. Should that be where he ends up? Yep. He's been aware of the bees. He's been second in the seas. He's no stranger to the sea. We're going to see all three of these people here again. And I got to say, I enjoy uh, winter shorts. <laughs> I feel like that is saying it's time to move on. That's it's time to move on, Stevens. <laughs> That's uh, Will's long lost sister. <laughs> This is, you have a, you always have a clue and an answer like this in a in a puzzle eight. The clue is 
for crying out loud. Right. And it's six letters. It could be anything in the world. Um, the answer they want is aw darn. Aw darn. David's written in come on, which is fair enough. As good. And it gives you a name of a neighbor, Bo somebody. He's got Bo to Bo's. Yeah. <laughs> Go over and check on Mo. I was the cousin. You know, it's Moss, Bo. Moss Depp's real name. <laughs> and age group. He's got age group starting with E, but he, again, it's Little League Division. When I saw this, I saw that and I thought, oh, it must be like the Pee Wees or the, right, that's the exactly where you're level right. fours or the, the nine to twelves or something like that. And, and no, it's just a more generic thing like age group. Yeah, I remember. I think, yeah, I remember the day that I uh, aged out of an age group on a survey. You're like, no longer 18 to 34. <laughs> Can I check that other box? Yeah. Like, can't you make them bigger? Okay, there. Yeah, so, yeah, there. He's fixing. Yeah, I can. He knows. something. All lowercase. Lara P does Very it. Wait, for case. Lara P had rear up. For really let have it. it doesn't quite work. There he goes. Yeah, now he's going to get. He's like, ah. The, uh, I also enjoy the clue for 17 across, which in the A clues is climbed in a window, question mark. I know, that is, again. I mean, you think about Romeo, you think about burglars, you think, it's got a question mark, so you know something's funky about this. Is it Klimbed in a window? Is Klimbed a word of technology? <laughs> and then you finally get enough letters, as David asked me, realize it's scrolled up. Scrolled up, yeah, to, to not do a actual, you know, iPad or iPhone or reference for that, I think. Is is it's yeah, it's wrong. like, yeah. It's wrong. Um, yeah, and in the B clues, it's dragged one thumb down on a phone screen. Sure. Returned to the head of a web page. No. Climbed in a window. It's funny, scrolled up is even antiquated in its own way for a computer reference because most people just are swiping right or left. Yeah, or saying, computer, go up. <laughs> Alexa. Alexa. <laughs> Siri said you're ugly. Where are you, you know you can get them to fight. Uh, well, I can get my kids to fight over Alexa. There's nothing better than a four-year-old and a nine-year-old screaming, Alexa, play this. Alexa, do that. Yep. Get them ready. For walk, the he's got to walk in, and then, so his, his problem now is, yes. instead of aw darn, he's got oh darn. Because 15 across, yeah, that much is clear. The most ironic clue in the puzzle <laughs> is the answer is I can see why. Uh, there we, yeah, wait, wait, wait. I can set hat. Yeah, he, he wanted I can see that, but he was leaving an E out of C, hey, so it's that I can set hat. Some people are friends with Milner's, <laughs> right. and they think about that. Thank you, Milner. That much is clear. I can set hat. I can set hat. He's fixed that. He's got height. Correct. He there we go. know about the walking bat. He probably wants it to be a walking thing, but he has a walking G in yeah. Well, I can see why. Aw darn. Yes, see it all folks. That's satisfying. Oh, he still has a square. This is the issue, yes. Star Wars. He's like, well, it can't be any other words, so let's put Star Wars in. And find the final one, 30 across. Side of beef question mark. Yes. Has nothing to do with meat. No. The answer is, he said. He said. Side of beef. He said. He said. Oh.
third place this year, finishing perfectly in 13 minutes and 42 seconds, is David Plotkin. Second place, perfect in nine minutes flat, is Dan Fayer. And our champion, new champion, perfect in incredibly four minutes, 58 seconds. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Ophira and Greg. Fantastic as always.